Question 4. Figure 4.1 shows a loudspeaker that is producing a sound wave in air of frequency 15,000 Hz. The loudspeaker is function to convert the electrical energy into sound energy. And the 15,000 Hz, which is in the range of audible sound between 20 to 20,000 Hz. As shown here in the diagram, these are the two ends represent the, the input, which is alternating current. And there is a hollow paper cone. Question or part A. Describe how the cone of the loudest speaker produces the sound. The answer for this question. The cone vibrates due to alternating current in coil. As a result, air particles vibrate back and forth in series of compression and rarefactions parallel to direction of wave energy transfer. To get the three marks, one mark for the cone vibration, secondly, alternating current, and the third one for explaining the or mentioning their compression and rarefaction. B. The speed of sound wave of the in air is 330 meter per second. The definition of the speed of sound is the distance it traveled, which is 330 meter, by sound wave in unit time, which is one second. To calculate the wavelength which is symboled by the letter, the Greek letter lambda, of this sound wave, which is V, velocity of speed, divided by frequency, which is symboled by the letter F, equals to the 330, which is the speed of sound, divided by 15,000, which is the frequency from the beginning. The answer for the wavelength, which is 0 0.022 meter. To get the two marks, one mark for showing the formula or direct substitution, and one mark for the the answer with the unit. Keep in your mind the answer is supposed to be two or three significant figure. Last part. C. The loudest speaker is placed a considerable distance to the left of a barrier with a gap. The width of the gap is double the wavelength of the sound. Sound from the loudest speaker reaches the barrier and passes through the gap. To answer the question, you have to understand this diagram is rel relative to it. Actually, that we have uh, diffraction of sound waves. Diffraction it means the spreading out of sound waves while passing through the gap. Here is asking to on figure 4.2 to sketch a diagram that represents the sound wave as a series of wave fronts. And you have to keep in your mind that traveling toward the barrier the wave front actually and in the gap and traveling away from the barrier to get the three marks first of all what's meant by wave fronts the wave fronts they are lines that pass through points are in phase in phase it means that they have the same position and same speed and if you're not familiar to the word phase you can say another definition which uh, uh, lines pass through crests. The red lines, they are wave fronts and the green perpendicular lines, they represent the incident sound waves from the louder speaker. And these lines or the wave fronts, they pass in through the gap, the shaded here, between the barriers. And we have approximately three, I'm um, sorry, two waves. 
because the distance between the wavefront here which is wavelength as he said the width of the gap is double the wavelength so I divide the gap between the barrier in two section and this the shaded one for example equal to the same size of the wavelength between the two wave fronts at the right side after passing through the gap we have the same number of wave fronts and same distance between the wave fronts which is the same wavelength the only difference between the incident and the diffracted waves or sound wave after passing through the gap the curved ends these ends supposed to be curved so the curved ends represent the diffracted wave fronts to get a star in diffraction keep in your mind that these are properties in diffraction we have the same speed of sound waves and same wavelength which is distance between the wave fronts and the same frequency thank you